Hi, I'm Tom Urquhart, a project manager for GroupWise 2012. I'm going to take a minute or two to talk about a nice little addition to GroupWise 2012, the ability to sort by frequency of use, or as we sometimes call it here, the relevancy feature. You can think of it as sorting by popularity. We've set up GroupWise to display things according to frequency of use in three areas. The first area is in item addressing. Here in this new mail item, in the to line, I will type K and you'll notice that it name completes to Kieran. Even though Kieran's not the first K alphabetically in the frequent contacts address book. And I can show you this by selecting Control Enter. You'll see that Kendall Sorensen is also in my frequent contacts address book and would sort first alphabetically. But the reason Kieran sorts first is because I send more items to Kieran than I do to Kendall. Another area where we use this sort by relevancy is in the assignment of categories. I'll take this item here, this Welcome to BrainShare 2011 message. I'll right click it and I'll go to Categories. And there you'll see the category list. You'll see that it's not sorted alphabetically. And what you can't see is that it's also not sorted by last use as it previously has been. In fact, it's now also sorted by frequency of use with Session 1 being the most frequently used category, Urgent, Second, and so forth. The final place where this is true is in our new recently used folders list over here on the left. This list is a new feature. It displays up to 15 of my most recently used folders, and it is also sorted by how frequently I use the folder. So in this instance, the Kieran Palagiri calendar folder is the folder that I most frequently use. So those are the three areas where our new sort by relevancy comes into play. I want to mention a few things to note with this functionality. First, it's automatically enabled. You don't need to do anything to make it work. Second, it only applies to personal address books. It doesn't affect sorting for names that come from the GroupWise system address book. Also, it doesn't span personal address books. It also doesn't affect your ability to cycle through names with the down arrow. So if I go back to my first example and I type K, and if Karen's not the person that you want, of course you can continue typing, but you can also press the down arrow to start cycling through names as you have in the past. The final thing I want to mention is something I think is pretty nice, and it is that we decrement the relevance count when we do nightly maintenance. So if you don't send an item to someone for a while, or you don't use a folder or category for a while, its relevant count decreases. The reason for this is to handle a situation where maybe you have a burst of activity where you're mailing a person or using folder quite a bit for a week or two, but then not as much. This nightly decrementing keeps that person or folder from being at the top of the list for a disproportionate amount of time. As I said when I started, I'm a project manager here at Nobel, and I send a lot of email and use a lot of folders, and this functionality has made GroupWise 2012 a little easier for me to use. I think it's kind of a hidden gem in GroupWise 2012, and so we hope you like it. Thanks.